Howdy, folks. You were about to witness an unusual of an unusual machine. A McCormick Deering four foot combine. Hey, Louis, No, not yet, Oscar. <laughs> I'll tell you when. <laughs> Now, before we start the demonstration, I want to tell you what this machine is and what it will do. This four-foot combine is International Harvester's contribution toward low-cost harvesting and threshing on the thousands of small to medium-sized farms all over the country. Farms on which small grain, clover, and grass seed, peas and beans and so forth, are grown as cash crops. Other sizes are made for the larger acreages, but this four-foot combine was designed specifically for the smaller farms and smaller fields. Here, as you will see, is a full-fledged, completely equipped combine which will satisfactorily harvest and thresh nearly a hundred. Think of that. Nearly 100 different crops and do it at a substantial saving over any other method. This machine will actually pay for itself in a relatively short time and earn the owner a profit from then on. But. Low cost and wide adaptability are not the only considerations. The owner of this four-foot combine enjoys other advantages. First, master of his own harvest. When the crop is ready, he is ready. When bad weather creates an emergency, he can save his crop by making every day, every hour, and every minute count. Second, once over and it's all over. He handles the crop only once instead of four times. He's through with the job in a few days. And folks, when he's through, he's through. Third, no extra help. He harvests and threshes in one quick, clean cut, one man operation. He can stay at home and go ahead with his own work. Fourth, no feeding a hungry crew. He saves his wife all that hard, hot work. And no big grocery bills to pay. Fifth, better grades, better prices. His grain or seed or peas or beans, as the case may be, will receive better grades and bring better prices. And he is in a position to sell immediately if he wants to. Sixth, low initial cost. He gains all these advantages with a machine costing only a little more than a power binder, which does only the cutting. And now, folks, with Oscar's assistance, I'm going to show you some of the outstanding features of this great little combine. Now here is a compact, rubber-tired machine, which is light draft, durable, completely accessible, simple to operate, and one on one. This little combine can be operated in average conditions by a one-plow tractor, and in any conditions by a two-plow tractor. Now, folks, I should tell you right away that this is a regular machine but dressed up with a transparent side so you can see the working parts. Here's what it actually looks like in real life. Isn't it a beauty? Compact, symmetrical, streamlined, modern in every respect. You bet it is. But now let's go back to the cutaway machine again. First, I want to show you how the cutting height can be varied from 2 to 32 inches by the tractor operator using this convenient crank. See how easily it works? Now take a look at this platform. It has a gradual incline, which gives a gentle but positive travel from the cutter bar direct to the cylinder. The sides are exceptionally high to prevent loss. And while you're looking at the platform, think of this. Only about two seconds elapse from the time the standing grain is cut until the feed conveyor has carried it from the cutter bar to the cylinder and it is being threshed. Compare those two seconds of time with the days or week between cutting and threshing the old way with the binder and threshing machine. Think of the time saved and then think of the work saved. No binding, shocking, hauling, or pitching bundles into a thresher. Two seconds from cutting time to threshing time and the entire job handled by just one man with one machine. I ask, isn't that something to consider? Okay, Oscar, shut her down. Now, from here on back, this machine is similar in design to the threshing machines with which you are familiar. 
except that it is modernized and improved and doesn't have to be kept level to do good work. Uh, Oscar! Yes. Come here a second, will you? Now? Yes, now. Folks, this is Oscar, my assistant. He knows all about this little combine and he wants to tell you about it. All right, it's all yours. Uh, this is a silver here. And this here is concave, see? Well, now, uh, the diameter is about, uh, about that big, I think. And you know, it's uh, 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 the flail type. And it's about four foot long. Oh, it goes from, from here, way over here, way over here, there's a square go, see? And uh, this here, uh, the, uh, the, ball, the, ball, the ball, ball bearings are here. Now, uh, I'll tell you, if this thing can be a go up uh, and quicker, a uh, quicker you can shake, uh, 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 get out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Oscar. <laughs> You know, I'm afraid you're a little bit nervous. You'd better let me do it. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> I think you must have swallowed a concave. <laughs> Oscar was trying to tell you about the cylinder and concave here. Now, this large diameter flail type cylinder extends the full width of the machine and runs on ball bearings. It is quickly adjustable up and down. And if for any reason you want to remove it from the machine, you merely loosen this anchor plate and take it right out through the side. The steel cylinder bars are faced with specially selected long wearing rubber, not too hard and not too soft. The concave bars are block rubber. The purpose of the rubber is to cushion the beating action on the grain as it passes through between the cylinder and the concave bars and prevent crackage. Now, isn't that slick? The concave bars are removable and interchangeable. And if you want to take the entire concave out of the machine, you just loosen six bolts on each side and pull it right out. Okay, Oscar, start her up again. Oscar, start her up again. Now, the grain that's separated at the cylinder, and in this machine that means up to 90% of it, Drop straight down onto the extra long grain from in front of the cave, back to the chaffer. The straw goes up onto the single piece straw rack. Any grain in the straw is soon shaken through onto the return pan where it slides down and joins the main stream on its way to the chaffer. At this point, a controlled air blast from this fan floats the chaff over the end and out of the machine. And the grain then drops through the chaffer to the cleaning sieve for final cleaning by the same air blast. It then falls through to the clean grain auger, which moves it across to the elevator, which in turn deposits it in the grain tank. An outstanding feature of this little combine is this adjustable chaffer extension. It's a real grain saver and it's regular equipment. Any unthreshed heads drop through the adjustable openings into the tailings auger and are elevated back to the cylinder and put through again. Now around here on the stubble side of the machine are two convenient adjustments with which the openings in the chaffer and cleaning sieve can be regulated. Now let's give this good looking 12 bushel grain tank the once over. How's that for modern styling? It has a rounded, non-spilled top and is emptied in about a minute and a half. If instead of the grain tank, you prefer a roomy enclosed bagging platform with double spouts, quick release bag holders, you can have that. Right here, we come to one of the most ingenious and most helpful devices ever put on any farm machine. No fooling. Here's the story. One of the basic principles of threshing is to run the cylinder at just the right speed to knock the grain out of the heads, but not crack it. And I mean grain or beans or peas or what have you. Different crops and different conditions of the same crop require different cylinder speeds. But how to get the right cylinder speed quickly and without going to a lot of trouble has always been a problem. Well, folks, this speed change device solves that problem once and for all. Simply by turning that hand screw either right or left, as Oscar is doing, you can step the cylinder speed up high or bring it down low and do it while the machine is running. At the turn of a hand, 
you get exactly the cylinder speed you want when you want it. Remember that speed change device. It's a honey. Notice the narrow width and low height of this machine. It's easy to run it through gates and bridges and along lanes, and easy to run it in under cover. Folks, I've been saving something for you. You've seen the main features and parts of this combine. Now I'm going to show you in slow motion how all these parts function when the grain is actually going through. All right, Oscar, give her the works. See how the grain goes to the cylinder, heads first, in a smooth, uniform flow. Separation begins the instant the heads reach the cylinder. The grain drops through the concave to the extra long grain pad. The straw goes around onto the straw rack. Now the air blast blows the chaff away. The grain drops through to the cleaning sieve. Then into the clean grain oil. Any unthreshed heads drop through the chaffer extension to the tailings oil. seen in slow motion what goes on in this little combine when it is actually at work in the field. You've seen how it would perform in any one of nearly a hundred crops on your own farms. Ten to fifteen acres a day. A perfect job of cutting, threshing, cleaning and saving at a cost well below that of any other method. This little combine solves the harvesting problem on hundreds of thousands of farms. And remember, only two seconds from cutting to threshing. 